Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Nikita. I'm working on a Redison project, uh, which I created for you uh, three years ago. And today I would like to give you a brief uh, overview of uh, map structures and uh, services uh, based on uh, Redison, uh, on top of Redis, of course. Uh, so what is the uh, Redison? It's a Redis based in memory data grid. Uh, it offers you all uh, necessary things uh, required to create a distributed applications on Java. Uh, it offers uh, differ different uh, distributed locks and synchronizers, uh, distributed collections. It even offers uh, collections uh, not implemented in Redis, like uh, multi-map, delayed queue, some priority queues. It offers uh, distributed services. It has a lot of integrations with uh, popular frameworks like Spring, uh, Hibernate, uh, uh, Tomcat uh, Session Manager. And it also implements a Jcache API. So uh, we will have a look more closely at uh, map structures, executor, uh, scheduler, and uh, map reduce services. Uh, map is most popular uh, data structure in Java, and uh, here is a typical uh, usage of map. If you want to change your code to achieve the same uh, with uh, Redis hash, the only change you, sh you should do is to create uh, the map using uh, Redison. Uh, Redison maps directly uh, uh, object methods to uh, uh, Redis commands or uh, Lua scripts. In this example, uh, put method uh, wrap it directly to hset command. But uh, put if absent uh, method uh, implemented uh, with uh, Lua script. Uh, Redison heavily relies on Lua scripts uh, because Lua script is fast, uh, executes uh, atomically, and allows to create complex execution flow. In this example, script using only, only two, co two Redis commands and accepts uh, three parameters, map name, key, and value. Another uh, map implementation available in Redison is a sharded map. Uh, here is uh, some internal uh, uh, structure of uh, sharded map. Uh, this map split it into several shards. And if Redison connected to a Redis cluster and each uh, Redis node has equal amount of slots, it will get approximately equal amount uh, of uh, maps, uh, map shards. Uh, another most uh, interesting uh, map implementation is a, a local cache uh, map. Uh, this object maintains the local cache or so-called uh, near cache, uh, this cache uh, uh, resides on application side. And this uh, type of map structure is very useful in cases when map used mainly for read operations or network uh, round trips are uh, undesirable. In this case, read operations uh, with local cache are executed about 100 times faster in comparison with a map uh, which use uh, Redis hash. So, uh, since map stored in Redis, it could have enormous amount of entries, uh, so eviction policy could be applied for local cache. A uh, few options are available. It's a uh, well-known uh, policies like uh, least recently used, least frequently used, and soft and weak uh, references. Uh, 
reference policies. Uh, these policies evict uh, map entry during uh, garbage collection process uh, in JVM. Um, in distributed um, uh, application, uh, any amount of local cached map instances uh, may be used. And data could be changed through each of uh, local cached map instance. To maintain the actual data in local cache, uh, Redison offers invalidation uh, policies. The first one is uh, on change. It invalidates uh, corresponding local cache entry across all instances if it has changed in Redis. Uh, it's implemented using a published subscribe. Each uh, local cache uh, map instance connected to a common channel and listen for message uh, which always published if a map entry has changed. So corresponding map entry in local cache uh, deleted during the inv invalidation message handling. Uh, the next policy is the same as first, uh, but also clear uh, whole cache uh, in any case of reconnection to Redis. Because uh, if connection has, has been lost and uh, alive again, uh, you don't know which entries uh, has been changed and, and it's better to, in some cases, it's better to clear a uh, whole cache. And the last policy also maintains a map entry change slog. It clears only changed uh, entries if uh, uh, where, where was a reconnection uh, to Redis. Uh, last policy stores a uh, invalidation uh, log uh, record during each uh, uh, map, uh, each change uh, on map. Um, uh, these invalidation log records are loaded each time once the connection to Redis has been restored. And invalidation log records are stored for the last 10 minutes in which way log will not grow continuously. Uh, let's move to tasks execution. Uh, Redison has two parts. It's a, a Redison client itself and a Redison node. Uh, Redison node has uh, workers. A way are used to execute tasks submitted through Redison client. All Redison nodes are stateless and tasks are stored in Redis until the moment of uh, execution. And of course, uh, Redison nodes require some actions to run, deploy, and maintain. In some cases, it would be nice to have workers right on the application side. Uh, and Redison allowed to do it with a single line of code. Um, some Redison users run more than 1,000 instances of Redison in production, and such approach could be quite effective in terms of computing uh, power utilization. Um, let's uh, consider code examples. Uh, Redison uh, uses uh, familiar Java runnable and callable interfaces uh, to define tasks. Each task may have any amount of parameters. If uh, parameter have a, a Redison client interface and marked uh, with inject annotation, uh, the Redison instance will be injected. And this uh, will allow to get an, any Redison object. Same rules apply to runnable tasks. Um, it's pretty easy to submit a task since uh, Redison already implements familiar 
executor service interface from uh, Java concurrent package. Each task could uh, have any amounts of parameters, pass it through constructor or setter methods. And uh, scheduler tasks uh, submitted using uh, scheduler service, which uh, also implements a scheduled executor service uh, interface from Java concurrent package. Uh, tasks could be scheduled for one time execution or scheduled for multiple uh, executions with defined single, uh, sorry, fixed rate or fixed uh, delays uh, between each execution. Tasks uh, scheduler service also allows developer to define more complex scheduling using cron expressions. Uh, these cron expressions are fully compatible with Quartz uh, cron format. And the last major feature is a MapReduce framework. It's used to process large amount of data across many uh, Redison nodes or uh, local uh, workers. Uh, Redison offers MapReduce support for various collections like set, list, uh, map, uh, multi-map, and so on. And if you use sharded map, uh, map phase will be split into many subtasks, some uh, subtasks and run in parallel. Because any subtask will uh, work with own uh, map shard. Uh, for another objects uh, like uh, uh, usual map or list, map phase will uh, always run as a single task. Uh, and reduce phase is always uh, run in parallel because intermediate values produced during map phase are stored in sharded store. Uh, it passed to uh, uh, reduce tasks. Um, let's consider an example how to count words amount uh, in a book using uh, MapReduce. First, we need uh, to populate a data source. In this example, it will be a map object. And we, uh, we get a few uh, first lines from a first uh, chapter of Alice in Wonderland book. Uh, before MapReduce execution, we should define two objects, uh, two uh, major objects, Mapper and Reducer. The Mapper object is used to produce uh, intermediate values and store them into, into Redis using a collector object. Uh, this Mapper example applied to uh, uh, this uh, mapper applies to each uh, map entry and split value by space uh, uh, to separate words and store each word to a Redis. A reducer object uh, handles intermediate values uh, produced during a previous uh, map phase. In our example, it's a word itself and uh, word occurrences amount collection. And this example calculates the total sum of for each uh, word. Collator is an optional object and used only when you need, a, you need to get a result as a single object. In our example, it could be a total amount of uh, words uh, used in a book. And finally, this code examples show how to run uh, uh, the MapReduce process itself. As I said before, each uh, Redison collection uh, has MapReduce support uh, uh, through the uh, MapReduce method. 
it exposes API for, defin uh, for definition mapper, reducer, and timeout parameters. And if you, uh, when you're ready to run a map reduce, you should call uh, execute methods, where a two uh, version and where uh, one of version uh, allows to define uh, collateral. So, um, how does Redison compare uh, with another and memory data grids or cache solutions? Some users have successfully moved away from such popular products like Hazelcast, HCache, uh, maybe grid gain, I don't know. Because of many reasons, uh, but there are a few major reasons. Uh, the first one is correct large memory amount handling. We all know that Redis can handle terabytes of memory. Uh, and the second uh, major reason is uh, availability of fully managed, uh, fully managed services like uh, AWS Elastic Cache, Azure Cache, and so on. Uh, full, uh, fully managed services offers full automation, uh, support, and management of Redis, so developer can focus on application uh, and uh, not maintaining uh, their uh, database. So if you're still using uh, data grids like uh, Hazelcast or cache, like HCache, grid gain, it's time to say bye-bye them and switch to Redison. Thank you. Um, questions? Um, you mentioned that quite a bit of the actual code is implemented as the Lua scripts that run in Redis. Yes, of course. Would that make it possible to port a lot of this to other languages? since that much uh, you, of the logic you, is not in Java. You know, we are currently working on uh, uh, integration with uh, JavaScript and Python using uh, Vertex framework, if you know it. So we are in progress. Uh, with uh, your implementation of sets, um, yeah. um, does it work on a uh, cluster? Uh, sharded set. W sharded set. Uh, sh yes. yes. Okay. Could you go into a bit more detail as to the difference between a sharded set and a set? Uh, if you work uh, with a cluster and use a usual set, this set uh, will be stored only uh, on a single um, Redis node uh, um, because of uh, the slot it bounded to. Uh, and the sharded set uh, will be split to uh, multiple shards. Uh, and as I said, uh, on example of uh, sharded map, map uh, shards will be um, uh, distributed uh, across uh, cluster uh, in uh, equal, uh, equal equal uh, distance, uh, this allows to uh, has uh, equal uh, equal amounts of uh, shards on each Redis uh, Redis node. It's a, a little bit complex formula. It uh, used in Redis to uh, uh, create uh, each uh, each shard. Yeah. Uh, does that use PubSub or is that another uh, As I said, it's used PubSub. It's uh, one of uh, three policies. The first policy uses only PubSub. The second uses on, uh, the PubSub, but also handles the reconnection uh, issues. Because if you have been uh, disconnected from Redis, you stop to receive any updates. 
so you make clear cache. And the last policy is tracking the changes and you uh, clear only changed entries uh, when you connect it to Redis again. Thank you. Oh, question? Uh, just looking through your documentation, yeah. I see you support sharded sets. Uh, would it be possible to extend things to support sharded sorted <coughs> sets? Uh, sort of sharded. So, so you have a sharded set yes. that will work in the cluster and yeah. split a set. Would it be possible to extend that to having sharded sorted sets? Would that be possible? Mm, sharded sorted sets. It's it's quite it's a li little complicated, I think, because uh, you should know when the sorted set is split, uh, you should know where to. You should know how to maintain the order across all shards. I didn't think about it yet, okay. but. I will try in the future. <laughs> <laughs>